Spotlight over the city. I'm your host, Stan Long, along with the lovely Terry T. Bomb Long. Let's rock. Yeah, He's back. He's back. He's back. Yes, we are. Yeah, man. The energy, the energy, the energy. We are back. We are back. Thank you guys for tuning in to Spotlight over the city. The whole DMV, we love you guys. Southside, you already know what it is. Landover, Palmer Park, Sea Pleasant. All the way down to uh, Phil oh, Philly, Philly, Chicago. But we cannot leave out L.A., and we cannot leave out Charlotte. Hello to and my we LA definitely friends. better not leave out Atlanta. They say they shooting if we leave out Atlanta. So Atlanta, you in the building. We, we got some know. new L.A. correspondents. Yes, we and do. So yes, we do. So we headed to L.A. We headed to L.A. Ah. So um, Spotlight Over the City is really growing. Thank you, guys. Thank you, um, We have correspondents now in Atlanta. We have correspondents uh, now, recently, in L.A. LA. And we will be covering things in L.A. as well as uh, Atlanta, Georgia. So shout out to everybody that's a part of that so spotlight exciting. movement. Um, wife, you was in LA just said, looking cute. Yes, and I was out there doing home. some spotlight work because I said, you know what, while I'm out here in LA, I am going to have some spotlight correspondence before I go back. And God said, yes, you are. Yep, yep. And we have. Who said it? God said, yes, you will. You will have what you say you have. There it is. Yes. I like that. You have what you say and you so have. And so you came back with a correspondent? Two. <laughs> Two, Two correspondents. Yes. And so, so that's what's stay up. Stay tuned. So stay tuned because we got some things that we will be covering live from LA, LA and we'll be broadcasting from I'm there. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Spotlight. Let's do it. Spotlight over the city, y'all. Listen, welcome back. This is a thankful Thursday. I want you all in the comments on Facebook. Tell us one thing or two or three that you're thankful for. Today is a thankful Thursday, and um, I am always thankful. I am thankful for... Um, my children, I was able to take my son to the West Coast for the first time in his life, and he's 13. So I'm thankful um, that God allowed me to be a mom and gave me an opportunity to do great things with my Y'all go down to so, No, <laughs> my son didn't want He was like, I love Nipsey Ma, and I respect him, <laughs> but I don't want to go to the hood. <laughs> I said, okay. He said, I'm cool. I want to go to Hollywood. I'm going to go to Rodeo. So, But we had a great time. So to, on tonight's show, though, listen, y'all know. Your girl, T Bomb. I love Black Girl Magic, and the women are holding it down tonight on tonight's show. But before we, we talk about the women, can I talk about my woman? Oh, you holding it down. Let me oh. say this: my wife is the recipient of a really important award, oh. and uh, Angela also Brooks will be handing her this award. And it's on what date? It's at the end of August. I can't really give you all all the details yet, but um, yeah, it's pretty special. Super cool. What's up, Danny? I see you. Yeah, it's pretty and special. And so I think that's a big deal that you've been awarded something, yes. such a great prestigious yes. award. And um, congratulations to you Thank for being you such so a queen much. and getting such a prestigious award. I'm going to hold it down at Trigger Inc. until you get over there. So don't oh, be yeah, too long. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that there. in a minute, too. Okay, yeah. 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 Give it up for wife. Thank that's right. You. One time for wife. Yeah, that's a big deal. I want Thank you to you, understand honey. that when you do big things, then you should be awarded and, and people recognize that. you amongst your peers. That's a big deal. 
Okay, I had said before I came to the show, I'm going to get through this show without any tears tonight. Y'all know I cry over anything. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, stop, because I want to get through tonight's show without the tears. Okay, so thank no you tears. so much, honey. I appreciate that. Um, and I am super excited. So, But let's get to tonight's show, because we've got some amazing ladies on tonight's show. We have got the CEO of Silhouette in a Bottle. Her name is Tamika Douglas, and yep, she is yep. in the building tonight, y'all. So she will be coming up shortly. So give it up. Yeah, put your hands yes, together. give yeah, it yeah, up. Yeah. Yes, give it up. Yes. They Silo got their t-shirts, and they branding, and she got her team, and they looking fabulous, and this is amazing. what we like. Yes. That's how you do it, branding. Yes. Branding, branding, yes. branding. Yes, yes. That's what's happening. Okay, well, I'm not done because we have social media influencer, and also she was Savage Times Fenty ambassador. We got Mara in the building. Hey, let's give it up. Mara, yes. I thought she was in Atlanta, too. She's right here. Yes. Local. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. and you know, we always close the show with something, you know, poetry, music, something. Well, tonight... We have got an amazing, Fire. very talented Fair. young lady. And um, I cannot wait for you all to meet her later in the show. We've got Robin Monet in the building, y'all. Let's give it up. Woo! So I heard, yes. I heard the sound check. I know you guys didn't hear the sound check. I heard the yes. sound check. So you guys are in for, You're in for a treat. A surprise, so just stay tuned to the end You're of the show. You're in for a treat. And as, as per usual, we're back like we never left. Back on these black businesses. You know here at Spotlight Over the City, we love to acknowledge and shout out black businesses on our show. That's our way of giving back. So um, every week we do two to three black businesses. And this week, um, we were out in L.A. My sister and I were out in L.A. last week, and we were on Venice Beach. And there was a, a young man. He was he didn't have his clothes sagging. I mean, he was very presentable, very respectful and everything. And my sister and I just wanted, we didn't want his products, but we gave him money because he was trying to do such a great thing. And, he, and so he gave me his information. I want to read it to you all. He said he's 16-year-old Traverius, and he's the CEO of the clothing line called Young Go-Getters, YGG Apparel. I love it. He created this brand because he wants to influence young kids his age that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. He wants to show other teenagers how to get money the legal way. So he moved from Alabama to California at 16 years old just to take a chance at selling his clothing and his merchandise on Venice Beach. He wants to eventually expand, obviously. Um, but please support him. If you're out in L.A. and you're on Venice Beach and you see Traverius, he's got clothing line, YGG, Young Go-Getters clothing line. Support this young man. And if you're, um, if you're not there and you want to send him a cash app, it is... YGG Apparel. So YGG A P P A R E L. That's his cash app. And he's also on Instagram, um, YGG Apparel. And so I, I, I shouted him out because he's 16, he's black, and he's doing something positive. He said he's out there from morning to night selling his merchandise. When I say I love that story, so hmm. um, just, to, just to drive the point home, Black Wall Street, I'm the president of Black Wall Street. This is what it's about. It's about, it's about circulating the dollar back into your community yep. and become and building wealth amongst your own. This young man traveled the distance at 16 Alabama. years old yep. and went out there and made something happen for himself. Yep. So God bless you, young man, and I already know you're going to be extremely successful. So keep doing what you're doing. Yes. And we'll look forward to seeing you at the top. I already know. Absolutely. Um, the other um, business that we're going to highlight this week, Chris, Chris. Chef Skip Skipper is partnering with his cousin Chantel Skipper and his friend Janor Tucker to open up a restaurant called Chef Skip, and it's a seafood restaurant that's going to be a takeout, so you can take out, you don't dine in, and it's going to be on the campus of Howard University. So Chef Skip, he already has two other locations in Virginia Beach and Portsmouth, Virginia. Find out the details on the grand opening for his restaurant on Howard University's campus. Go to the Instagram, Chef Skip 202, and the website is www.chefskip202.com. Black Sounds people, good, we, right? We, we doing it, we right? We really do some. We 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 it though. Like I, was, should, I love right? I love to see an amazing it. thing. Love to see it. It really I love it. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 17 years old. I'm 53 years old, and I'm proud to say that in business you have to be persistent. You have to be consistent. You have to be resilient. You have to be a whole bunch courageous. of courageous, courageous to even start it. But once you start, don't stop. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, because it's never going to be a cap on your salary as long as you employ yourself. You won't fire yourself. You won't get rid of yourself. 
And hopefully you work just as hard for yourself as you will for someone else. That's right. And wealth will come to you. Let's do that. All right. Well, what's happening? Well, Y'all know we we're back. We're back open, kind of sorta. I don't know what they're going to be doing. Back in a couple, open. Yeah, kind of sorta. But anyway, we got some things happening. <laughs> uh, Stan and I are really really excited about this. Uh, our friends Bache and Tara Williams they have yes. created something called. Um, when love aligns, right? And so I love it. That's their new slogan. When love aligns, um, you all, they were on our show last year when they when they got married. Their love story is so interesting, and it is yeah, a great love story. Yes, right? they gave us an exclusive interview. Well, now when love aligns is presenting a weekend experience of love and relationship topics that will be life changing for you all. This is for singles and those who are married. And guess what? Stan and I are one of the relate one of the couples that they selected. They chose us out of so many other couples there's a lot of us on their panel That's big. a lot of phenomenal other couples and other singles as well and this is going to take place the weekend of august the 13th through the 15th both virtually so you can participate anywhere and also in person you can get tickets right now at www.winlovealliance.com so meet us there we're going to be we are so excited to to pour into other couples and other singles yeah. stan and i are on the panel to talk about um, how you how you love each other while working together and also blending family. Stan and I, as you all know, we have, I like to say, successfully been able to blend our families. And we want to talk about that because we know that it is a struggle out there a lot for yeah. when people are getting married. How do you blend a family? And I had teenagers, and it's it's hard. But um, we, we survived, and I, I'd like to share some well, we of our – yeah. We actually thrive. We thrive, so I yeah. Love, I love that because a lot of people break up over those things. A lot of times blending families is that obstacle that people can't get over. Yeah. Like, you know, that's not my child, and – they operate different, and you raised them or her different. Yep. And, you know, I don't agree with the way you function, and you da 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 da. And so those things have to be met, you know, squarely. So yeah, we'll talk about those. We're gonna things. talk about that August we 13th through the 15th. Too, you yep. know, we had to overcome, so we'll we'll Absolutely. air it all out. We're gonna air it all out, honest and candid about how that thing should look or, or can look. Y'all should um, really um know. get tickets though if you're single. Um, and want to be married, if you're already married and you need some extra boosting of tips and stuff, whatever, tune up, yeah. please get tickets for this experience. It's going to really be cha a, a life-changing experience for so many people. Marriage is a lifetime tune-up. Pro yeah. Trust me, if you don't tune your marriage up constantly, your you're marriage will be slipping away. You have to really be... I didn't know that because I've never been married, but when you get married, it's not the same as when you date or when you... So you really... It's different. You're, you're, you're really committed. And yep. so you have to really commit to it. And so we're going to talk about all of those things. We are. How those things look and how they shouldn't look and blah, blah, blah. And guess what else is going on? What else Come is going on. on? Well, our family, Tricky Entertainment, they back, y'all. They gang. are back. Gang Gang is back for the For the Cooling You Wine and Music Festival the weekend of August 28th and 29th. They're going to have local Maryland wineries, local and national artists like Raheem Devine, Mesa, Marcus Johnson, Company, Frank Sear, yeah, that's, that's Scooby, DC Vibe Band. I mean, so many Shout amazing artists, y'all. Amazing food vendors and so much more but guess what else spotlight over the city will be hosting be on, on they done, saturday they let me hold the mic and get on the stage i can't believe they done it. let they gonna let stan loose on but stage they done let me the, loose. i don't know how they did it but guess what on saturday <laughs> it's gonna be, i got a theme song and everything this man listen, listen. i've been practicing my dance with when i come hey out. sugar ray and oh, black hey, and ray, kurt y'all done gave let me tell you something. i don't know what y'all was thinking but you said yeah you could do what you want okay <laughs> <laughs> So when I get out there, y'all just be ready. When I say it's going to be have, lit, though, we're going to have a great time. A fun time. It's going to be so much and fun. I, and, I, and I got Guy Lambert. He's hosting on Sunday. So y'all get yep. your tickets. Listen, uh, y'all can get at Stan. Stan got tickets. So if you need tickets for one day or two days, yes. talk to Stan. He, he got you. He, I have tickets. He got the hookup. Holla, days, holla if you hear me. Well, one day, whatever you need. But guess what else I got tickets for? Oh, shucks now. Hey, Circle so we 7 Entertainment. We talk about it. Spotlight over the city. Been talking about promotion. We've been talking about Circle 7 Entertainment, which is me. Um, so now Circle 7 Entertainment presents yes. uh, a yacht party featuring one and only Vibe Band, DC yes, Vibe. Big and, Jeff, um, My DJ. man, Big Jeff, the DJ. We got a whole bunch of food, a bunch of giveaways. The food is going to be immaculate. I mean, when I say good food, I'm oh, not talking man, about food no yet. No food, food. I mean, all of that. A right? lavish Free dinner and um, desserts. Got yeah. some uh, 
really special guest that's going to be amongst us on the boat. Yeah. Um, a lot of surprises, a bunch of giveaways, and it's going to be amazing. The boat leaves out of Annapolis, so get at me if you need some First things. annual First Spotlight annual. Over the City All Black and White Summer Sail Yacht Party. Party Sunday, September the twenty sixth, y'all. September Tickets are one hundred and thirty five dollars. They're on sale now. Right and now, when I tell you we're gonna party. It's a three hour uh, yacht party, and we're gonna party, party, party. Yes, we are. It's our uh, friends and family, and it's gonna be a beautiful event. And so make sure you get at me for the tickets. This is how you and, get um, your tickets. You can cash app Spotlight over the city, and our cash app tag is is the number sign. You know that thing. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Spotlight over the city, <laughs> and, or you can um, send us the money through PayPal. And our PayPal is contact.spotlightovertocity at gmail.com. So that's our PayPal. And so I have hard do... tickets. So and he has hard tickets. Either, either way. Tickets, either way you need them, I got you. Either okay. Way. All right. So we got to move on. Yep, um, we're yep. coming up with Name That Song with Stack and T-Bomb. Y'all know this is one of my favorite segments. We've been gone three weeks. So those of you who might you have forgotten... No, I okay. need a different type of tuna, but we can talk about that after the show. Okay. Um, what kind of tuna? <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, okay. you told me to behave, so let me try to behave, okay? okay? well, tune it up. Name, <laughs> name that song is when we sing a few bars of a song, and you are to guess the name of the song and the artist, okay? You got to name that, both. You got to name artist both now, I got okay? it this time. I know they ain't got my song. All I got right. It. I ain't even got my song, but I got you wanna it. Go, I well, I'll, you want to go first or me? I'll go first. Always first, always. All right, y'all ready? So I, I should have fixed myself a drink, but I didn't. Well, you got to get tuned up for this. I thought she was a singer. I, okay. Man, you got to be All ready. All right. Which one of them cameras? Y'all ready? On, Justin? I just, any camera? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to just say. All right, let's do it. I really think that you have little faith in me. You're the only one I'll ever need. If you really understood how much you mean to me, all your doubts and fears would disappear. You know the song? I know you wait, wait. Know. Maybe you never find the secrets of your mind, but you gotta try and just realize, and I'll help you all I can. Okay, this is getting serious. Let's yes. Y'all yes. know my song? Does anybody so, know? They, you be sick. They too old. The song be too damn old, Terry. Like, it was beautiful. It touched me. I'm touched. But, Terry, no one knows this song. That's the point. I'm not supposed okay, to Sean. make it easy. Hey, Sean, Mary, I think we got you this time, Sean. Me, I think I got y'all. Nobody guessed it. Denzel don't know it either. So hold up. Let me see. Yes, I got y'all. Hey, Danny. What's good, Danny? Uh, Betty Let Murray. What you got, Betty Murray? LaKeisha. What's up, Keisha? Did anybody hey, know? Hey, Danny. I bet you didn't know that song. I bet you didn't know that song. Nobody guessed um, it. I, I don't see I nobody guessing it. I think they got y'all. Sean. Okay. All right. Sure. All right. All right. I got to put my glasses on. Denzel doesn't know, so I know I, I got y'all. I, I know y'all don't know this song. Okay, go, baby. What camera more, Justin? Uh, my man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Justin, this one for you, Holmes. So this, Let is, me see. this is one of my favorite artists. He's an unsung. I'll okay. say that. Okay. Oh, oh, I forgot my... Mm, back up. Don't do nothing. Okay. Step right up. You are right on time. Come aboard, babe. And you will be mine. You will be mine. I've been dreaming of my love by night. Inside of my head, wishing I could have you. So let's go to bed. All aboard, get your ticket to ride. Cause I'm leaving tonight, baby. Oh, yes, give it up for sexual chocolate in the you know building, y'all. You don't know it. You don't know it. You don't know it. I hey, know. Sean, I got you this week, Sean. You don't know this artist or this song. I know you don't. I, I think I, I know that's got song. Him. You don't you cheat in my head. My no, I'm not. No, I'm you don't know this. You don't. I know you don't. Okay. Yeah. Well, if y'all don't guess it, y'all don't after guess the it. Next I got commercial. I'll tell y'all. Uh, not right now. I'm gonna give y'all a chance to guess. Yeah, no. I not. know your song too. You do? Okay. So after the commercial break, if nobody guesses, then we'll tell y'all. Um, right, we got good. a quick commercial break. Can I borrow your rundown, though? You sure can. I think we got a quick commercial break, though. We'll be right, right back. We'll be right back. Spotlight over the city. I'm Terry Williams, the founder of Shea Butter Like Whoa. 
a natural body care company based in Maryland. We specialize in body butters, scrubs, oils that are awesome for the entire family. What makes us different, you might ask? We use only plant-based ingredients in our products. We've been curating our products for over 10 plus years, put a lot of love into our products, and the process is what separates from others. We make products for your entire family to enjoy. We love what we do. We put that in every product that we make. And we want you to try us out today. You can reach us and you can look at what we have to offer on our website at ShayButterLikeWo.com. You can also follow us on any of our social media outlets as well. We look forward to you visiting us and we look forward to your future business. Visit us today at ShayButterLikeWo.com. Hey, man. Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City. So guess what? Spotlight What's up? Time. It is Spotlight News Time. Y'all see, I'm be but, so excited. But, 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 I got to say a special shout out to Nari Capri. Oh, Nari oh, Capri girl. on there. I don't oh, never see Nari on here. Nari hey. Capri. Hi, Nari. Yeah, I, I love you and I miss you. Yes. So, All right. News. Spotlight News is sponsored by Shea Butter Like Whoa. Shea Butter Like Whoa provides gentle, natural skincare products that are 100% non-toxic. They source plant-derived ingredients of the highest quality. You all listen, let me tell you something. And I, I cheated a little bit, Terry. You cheated a lot. When I, so we, <laughs> but when I went to Charlotte, I left my Shea Butter at home. Tell the whole truth. Tell the whole truth. Went and, to Charlotte, left your Shea Butter at home. Yeah, and I had to go. We went to the mall, and I saw somebody. You know I love supporting black businesses, so I wasn't trying to cheat on you, Terry. And I told, hey, and Terry, the, I, in all fairness, I said, you wrong. You cheating on Terry. He did. He trying to get this foolishness. And I and bought some was, Shea Butter from somebody else, and. And it was Shea Butter like, no. <laughs> Hell no. It was the worst. And so I, I say, said, Terry. It, <laughs> so Terry tried to pawn it off of my mother. She didn't want it. So. So that's how you know it's bad, right? <laughs> so, but hey, this man. just goes to show, though, that Shea Butter Like Whoa, Terry, you really have an amazing product because I have been able to experience other, what he told us, it was homemade, Shea Butter, all natural, and it well, might well, be true. It was true. But it just wasn't it the wasn't same. It wasn't the so. same, you know, and so I just want to be able to say that we can really vouch for how great and amazing the texture is, the scent of it is, and you all can go on the website right now, www.SheaButterLikeWo.com put in our family discount spot 20 baby spot 20 s-p-o-t 20 and get a discount i mean get 10 percent off of your entire order go get you some sweet and juicy or some um vanilla berry i think it's a vanilla berry that i like that and stan likes the mango i promise you that mango is the best yeah um and it's get not you some that though. fruity mango smell it's a kind yeah. of calm go get you some shea yeah, butter so like oh wow you won't be smelling like a bowl of fruit yeah, like that. so it's just really stick cool. with the good stuff, not the shape of like no, like no, it got to be whoa, not no, <laughs> not no. Okay, uh, spotlight news. Listen, I'm very happy to hear about um, this police work right here. Um, DC police has have arrested 22 year old Mark Twan Hargraves of Waldorf, Maryland, and charged him with the murder of six year old Naya Courtney. Y'all remember about two weeks ago over there in that, Southeast. Yeah. Um, Mark Twan sprayed several bullets at a group of people in Congress High Southeast, killing Naya and wounding her mom, her dad, and two others. Naya's uh, father, Naya's father, um, was allegedly the intended target, as he is allegedly a member of the MLK Crew drug gang. So uh, allegedly, they were shooting because they knew he was out there in the crowd, and I'm maybe trying to send a message or whatever. But the message was a six-year-old's yeah, life your message got taken. Sucked, man. And so I'm not cool with that. When I tell you this, some cow. So this is the kind of stuff that's going. Like I'll say this, I'm gonna claim this responsibility. As an OG, we played a lot of these games in the street, not the same way, but we played a lot of games in the street that was foul. I'm tell you this, and we left y'all hanging. So we owe y'all something. We left the young boys hanging. These young boys don't have no guidance. And so this is what you're seeing displaying out here. A lot of the young boys, fathers in the penitentiary, mother might be doing something else, maybe working two jobs, maybe on drugs, whatever the case is. A lot of this is going on now with no guidance. And you young, you young kids are now turning into junkies. So we have to get back into the society and reach for y'all because y'all popping pills and doing a lot of things that's getting you to do what I see going on. Where we wasn't perfect. I'm telling you that. We had the PCP era. We had a bunch of things going on in the city. Promise I know that. Yeah. But, 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 we have to do better. We have to do better. It's, it's a new day. So I promise we have to do better. So me, I'm one of the people willing to reach back and grab some of these young boys. So I'm hoping that I can grab some other. CJ, 
Blair doing the same thing. Yep. A bunch of young Shout men out, out here doing him. the same thing. Shout out to Marbish and all of them going to door to door, feeding homeless in the community, in the hood where we got to go, in the hood where we got to go and grab these young boys up yeah. and talk to them and put some on their mind. Yeah. We just don't have no hope. That's all. We got to sow into them. Right. So I feel bad. It's a lose lose. He's is. 22 and he's going to lose his life. Yep. She lose, lost hers lose. and the family lost a sibling. 22 it's year really old young boy down, lose, down there from Waldorf. Not, yeah. Like, Come on, y'all. You have no idea what you're facing when you go to the penitentiary, young boy. Yeah. At 22 years old, I promise you don't yeah. know that. So anyway, it's sad. It is sad. sad. Um, Kevin so Samuels, I, w- I was asking Stan all last week. I'm like, babe, who is this Kevin Samuels guy? Like, we've been, we took a break break. Like, we really just have, we ain't been <laughs> yeah, paying attention to a lot of media, stuff. Yeah. We got away so, from the whole thing. Right? Yeah, there's a petition going around. He's a black man. Um, He's a, uh, he's like a relationship so-called therapist, but he's never, you know, he don't have a background in marriage or relationship therapy. So uh, women are going crazy on social media saying shut down his pages. They don't want him on, sh- they don't want him on no social media platforms. What do he do, baby? They're saying, they, they, really? he, he say that, I listened to a few of his videos this week and he does, now let me just say this, he, he kind of talks in a demeaning way um, to a certain extent to black women or about black women, but some of the things that he's saying to the women is true. So y'all are going to get mad at me, but some of that stuff he's saying is true. Like he, what, he's saying things like, you know, women, women have these expectations of getting, you know, this, this high quality male and what he considers high quality. Just that's the other thing I want to say um, before I start talking about you, Kevin Samuels, to me, when you don't have spiritual guidance, a lot of the stuff that you say for me at this point in my life is like whatever because you don't you, you don't talk about God in any of the guidance that you're giving these women. So that's a problem for me. And that uh, off the break. So what but is he saying? He say things you, like, um, if you want a high quality man, and you got to make sure that you be in shape. You you can't be looking like no linebacker. Some of y'all women looking like uh, Emmett Smith, but then you want somebody that look like Boris Kojo. You got to look at yourself and and realize that you you can't attract somebody like me. He talking about himself. You know, if you looking like Respucia, that's he say stuff like that. Like he really does like say. Uh, blatant stuff like that or if you got three kids by three different men why do you think that you should pose to get a high quality man like he's saying a high quality man like he's saying like a high quality man like, a a quality we, man we, like we, himself he, he he's not looking at someone who got three kids by three different baby daddies and so he talks like that and women are he sounds like he talks too much with like him they are like they they have had it they yeah. like get him off of social my so, thing is so just don't thing just is, unfollow him I, don't listen. I say you don't have to be on a, a you don't have to take in energy that you don't want. Like, no right. one's making you get on his page and listen to him or follow him. You can just go ahead about your business. I don't know why you want him off when you can just tune off. Like, tune yourself off. You don't have to. T- I don't tune into a bunch of buffoonery that's on social media. They ain't talking about shit. So, I, I, I only tune into what matters to me. If it doesn't matter to me and if it don't grow me in no way, I don't care. So, right. You can take that same approach. You don't have to right. put them off That's why I say media. just I don't, don't follow him. If y'all don't like him, leave him alone. Don't listen to him. Don't whatever. Yeah, I mean. And if, he, and if you feel like that ain't you, like I'm always this type of woman. Like, and I tell you this all the time. Like, you be, you know, people going to talk. People going to say things on social media. They're going to probably call me chunky at some point. There are women who be like, I ain't know she was pregnant again. So this dumb stuff like that. Some days I I look more chunky than I, but I know that I'm still the bomb. Yeah, I'm T-bomb. Bomb. Yeah, T-bomb. And I don't care what people say. So if he's addressing yeah, yeah, certain yeah. women. And I'm like, he ain't talking to me because that ain't me. But to be fair, uh, let's play devil's advocate real okay. quick. You do have some sisters and men, but you do have some sisters out here that's playing real high post, real high profile. I need a man that's going to do this, and I need a man. And you don't have shit at all. <laughs> nothing. You don't have a pot or a piss. Nothing. <laughs> you don't. And, and so why are you all in some, some man's face talking about what you demand See, you have to be what you're looking for. Yeah, I right? agree. So if you want a solid man, be a solid sister. Right. Right. If you want to be have a good support system, be able to support. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you want a man that's all wealthy and you broke as hell, then I think you should probably just kind of get your game all the way tight. And then you can demand those things and command those things. But if you're still working on you, then maybe you should chill out a little bit. I right. understand that aspect. Right. But yeah, even if goes your hard. body is not where you another man think it should be or you have three children by three different men doesn't mean you're not a solid sister that's See, right. a lot of things happen in your life that is on a path it's yep. a path that's right and so i don't I you know 
I agree. Maybe so, he got a little big e- his ego a little way bigger. I don't know. I don't whatever. know what he got, but I just you know wanted to give y'all our perspective on that. J Lo and listen, y'all say what you want about J Lo and all all, all the chitter chatter, but listen, I'm a J Lo fan. She hooker. just celebrated. Look like a hooker. <laughs> I just she just That's celebrated her 52nd birthday so, on a yacht. Babe, babe, her, wait, what? if we do that, we not consider hookers. What you like we'd be a whole dog and a whore and this and that. If it I was. be with this woman, I mean this this woman I'm with like. They was a right. Whole Him and her and A Rod were yeah. And they got they blended they, their kids they blend, together. Blended families. The they whole was engaged. Nine. He gave her a big rock. All In an instant, you right back with your ex and kick him to the curb. So I mean, and I listen. mean, like you floating around in public. She look bad too, though. She is so bad, y'all. Like, I will 52? say, fifty-two years old doesn't get any better. Than Jenny from the block. But I will listen. also say. Like then what do your kids say when your kids say, dang, you back with Uncle, um, what's the boy? Uncle ben Uncle Ben? Um, you, you and Uncle Ben <laughs> back Listen. together? Or, you know, because I mean, so what do y'all think? Did A-Rod do something drastic? Did he get, what did I A-Rod I don't know, do? I haven't heard, you know. What it's happened been, to A-Rod? It's been what? hush, hush. It's A-Rod, like they A-Rod, A-Rod is up. quiet and A-Rod is not uh, contesting what she's doing. He's not in the public saying, oh, you being a hooker. And you. He's not saying nothing. He's just renting yachts and stalking. Yeah. And so, like, what do you think it is? I, you know? I don't know, y'all. Tell us in the comments. Uh, I, what think y'all think? I think A-Rod must have did something to make her feel way about him to the point where he can't contest. He can't it. say nothing. That's what and I think. she is living her best 52-year-old life. Her fine and I ain't mad life. at her at Shout all. Shout out J-Lo. Do you think, Shout J-Lo? out J-Lo. Um, Will Smith is starring as Richard Williams in the new film, King Richard, and it's based on the upbringing and the lives of tennis stars Venus and, and Serena Williams. I think Will Smith is going to knock this one out the park. Will Smith has been a great actor anyway, so one he, of the best. So it's one he, of the best. Okay, he, he's, he's star, the dad. Yeah, he's playing the dad. Yep. Cool. He's going to be playing Richard Williams, and the film is called King Richard. So I'm like looking forward to that. We got the we got the trailer. We'll show it later during the show. Okay. Um, Jennifer Hudson stars as Aretha Franklin in the highly anticipated movie Respect, R E S P E C T, and it's set to be released mid August. I can't wait for this one because I love Jennifer Hudson. Y'all talk about somebody that can sing. Does she sing her whole face off? Sing her whole day. Like she off. really can sing. sing. Yes, she does. Yes, yeah. she does. Um, she sings. She and congratulations sing. to Issa Rae who recently got married. Who's Issa Rae? You don't know Issa Rae? You know I'm slow work with me. Um. Okay, she, y'all she, help me out. Thing? I mean, Who's she's Issa in. Rae? She's an actor. She's, she's in actor. a lot of. Yeah, she's yeah. in a lot of. Um, she's in that. That's her. Yeah. You see her? She look like my girl on there. What's our girl? Who? The girl that, that I'm getting to play in my movies. You know. The girl. The girl uh, play on the shy. The girl, our girl. Oh, um, I don't know her name. She remind me of her. What right you say, now. Justin? Insecure. Oh yeah, that's right. Issa Rae is is the star of that show, Insecure. Okay. That's, yeah. I haven't seen um. It. All right, so we running a little bit behind time, right, so I'm going to skip up. the commercial break and go right to Spotlight Sports. What you got, baby? I got Spotlight Sports. Yes, you got Spotlight sure Sports. Do. What you All got? Right. Spotlight Sports. Congrats to the Milwaukee Bucks. Yes, 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 yes. A lot yes. of people talk trash. Now, I heard it. I heard. I even heard Charles Barkley, all of them. Phoenix going to win. <laughs> Phoenix going to crush. Now, Phoenix had a 2-0 lead in this joint. And guess what? 2021 NBA champions, they came back to beat yeah. the Phoenix Suns after being down 2-0. Yes, they, yes did. they did. Now, I didn't have no stake in the game because neither one of these teams are my teams. But I will say it was a great series. I think that it was great for sports. And, um. Congrats. Milwaukee hadn't won Congrats. in over 50 years. Yeah. I think it was 50. Um, that they had done something like that. And the, the big boy was Congrats uncontrollable. He dropped 50 on them. And um, there's nothing you could do about that, man. The boy dropped 50 on you. What you going to do? What you going to so, uh, do? What you going to do? And so this is one that I think was pretty cool that I heard the little uh, goofy white boy say something slick out his mouth yesterday. The Olymp- what? The Olympic head. I heard what? you, Olympic head boy. Uh, Olympic gymnastic champion Simone Biles has withdrawn from the Tokyo Olympics to take care of herself, basically her mental health. She says she feels the weight of the world is on her shoulders and it became too heavy after she lost uh, herself in, in uh, midair. So basically, a lot of pressure is on this young girl. She, yeah. she won a medal. She, she topped out last, year, last, last Olympics and she was expected to do great now. But they putting a lot of pressure. They putting a lot of pressure on her. Uh, based on the status of the Olympics now, the coronavirus and all this other stuff that they got going on over there. And so they tried to make some of the young ladies wear real tight, skimpy clothes, and they protested that. And then they had her under a lot of duress, and she wasn't having that. So I just think it was just time for her to just check out and just say the hell with it. And so she did. And then I heard the little goofy white boy yesterday, what did he say? He came on the news and said, uh, 
some young lady uh had a negative situation and she stayed mm. and supported the team. And he said, now that's the real true uh, spirit of the Olympics. And I said, screw the Olympics. That ain't the real spirit of the Olympics when yeah. she's having mental health issues and she's going through some stress or whatever she's going through. She got the right to check out and she checked out. So that's what it is. And so that's the spirit of her Olympics. I and agree. that's what it's going to be. Uh, Mr. White name. Um, what's the boy? I don't remember. Whatever your name, name is. I wasn't even paying. Yeah, and so a lot of people going to check out and Olympics not going to do that well because it's it's just a real crazy situation. They have no audience. They have it's just wild. And yeah. she didn't feel like operating under that. And I wouldn't have either. I would have said I'm good. So you would have said yeah, I'm already thing. a champion. I don't need to prove nothing. That's right. She is well, already congratulations a champion. To, to you, Miss. That's right, Keep Simone. Come back right. when you're ready to come back. Well, this is my favorite segment, question of the week. Um, this is an opportunity for our spotlight viewers and listeners to write us questions about your relationships, or sometimes you ask about our relationships. Brace yourself. Either way, um, it's uh, the questions that we get in sometimes are just like really, really, really crazy. Some of them are <laughs> true love stories. It's a lot. Yeah, so, it's a lot. Um, question of the week is sponsored by the Umbrella Therapeutic Services. Umbrella Therapeutic Services is D.C.'s most reliable and trusted behavioral health organization organization. They provide community support, medication management, therapy for individuals and groups, and diagnostic assessments. Any D.C. resident ages 5 through 100 are eligible for their services. You can um, reach them by calling 1-888-793-4357. Umbrella Therapeutic Service. Yeah, Umbrella. Shout out to my man, Wes Jones. Over yeah, hey, CEO Wes. CEO. Situation. Congrats. Y'all ready? Brace yourselves. Let's do it. <clears throat> After 16 years of marriage, my wife caught me cheating. I honestly wanted to get caught because I have not been happy for a long time, and I thought if my wife caught me cheating, she would want a divorce. But she wants to forgive me and work it out, so I feel stuck now. My unhappiness stems for her, from her being such a dominating alpha female, and I have realized that while there is nothing wrong with the woman making the most money, it's not a situation that I thrive in. I need a woman who needs me. My wife has never pulled the I make the most money or this is my house card on me. She's never done that. But she also doesn't make me feel needed. She's able to do everything that I'm able to do plus more. So she doesn't treat me the way that a broke woman would treat me. My girlfriend now works at Target and she thinks I am the best thing since sliced bread. She needs my help to pay her bills. She needs me to help resolve life issues for her, and that makes me happy. My wife and I have one kid who is off to college now. I was happy when I got caught cheating, but she wants to work it out with me. I feel so bad, but I no longer want a woman who makes more money than me. I want someone who needs me. Many women nowadays don't need a man for much of anything except penis. Which is, which is something that they can get from anyone. And I'm not broke by any stretch of the imagination. I do well for myself, just not as successful financially as my wife. Wow. This is I a good letter. I think that's a great letter. It's a great letter. Um, first of all, the only complaint that he's really having is the fact that she makes more money, A. And, and she, doesn't, other... she doesn't make him feel needed. needed. It says, you know, she's able to do everything that I can do plus more, and she never makes me feel like she needs me. Well, let me talk to the men, first of all, that feel like the only thing you have is penis and some money. Um, you're already missing something. You have to have other elements to you that's what we call principles and things that you can sow into someone that you can't buy, which means you could be a broke man and still be a rich man. So you don't have to have the monetary gains to be able to hold her attention and, and, and sow into her, but you just have to have it here to do it. And so if you're feeling insecure about the situation, then that's an ego thing more yeah. so than her issue. Um, a, I think that's your ego that tells you, though, because you said she's not bringing it in your face. She's not telling right. you she's the breadwinner and this and that. You just know it, and you know you can't move a certain way with her, so it makes you feel insecure. Right. But um, cheating on her was not going to make her... Uh, I mean, that's kind of like the, the passive-aggressive way to try to end something. You know, you cheat on someone hoping that you'll get caught and hoping that they'll be like, it's over. But and then it backfires because she's like, no, I want I want you to stay. I don't. Yeah. I want to forgive you. And so, in my opinion, I don't see enough issues in their relationship for him to actually leave unless he just outgrew her or whatever. He's not saying that. He's just saying he wants a lesser dominant factor. Right. He wants a lesser well, dominant well, woman. Well, let me say this. Always be a man. Show up as a man. So, when you have a woman that's an alpha woman, you still have to show up as a man. That's the problem. A lot of men are submitting to the alpha female, and they're becoming... Uh, they're women, basically, and you can't do that. And I mean that a lot of a lot of men are becoming the women mm -hmm. in the situation, and they're letting the women dominate them because of the monetary 
Well, that's not cool. You have to still stand up as a man and know who you are. If you make nothing, you're still a man. If you make nothing, if you have just something else to sow, then you don't have nothing to do with the monetary. So I don't know. I, 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 think, that, um, I think that he's egotistical when it comes to that, and I think that he's trying to take an easy cop. The woman at Target is looking at him different. Right. right? And so that's the thing. You know, I, I get he's it. He's being bossed around at home, basically, and he's being pushed around and feeling like a chump. Well, you set that up from the beginning. When you first get into the relationship, you set yourself up for how you're going to, you know, set the tone. Well, let me tell you men something that may not have caught on. Women try to train your ass when they first meet you of how they want things to go on their end of the bargain. That's what people do. Men do the same. They try to train the female for what they want to do on their end of the bargain. For when the man breaks down and give in to the sister, then now you're under control of the sister and you're going to have a hard time. And that's yeah. what you fell into. You started off being the submissive and she was the dominant. And so now you can only talk about it. You're scared yeah. to tell her the truth. So you use the sucker way out and try to cheat. And I don't know why you did that if you're scared. But you should just talk to her. Communication. Yeah. Sweetheart, I would appreciate it if you would blah, 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 blah. I don't feel honored. I don't feel respected. I feel like we need to talk and blah, 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 blah. And y'all hash that out. But I think. Cheating not going to fix that. Well, I think based on based on him feeling like, you know, he's like, you know, he's labeling this girl as his girlfriend. I think that he's already gone. And I think at this point, having a conver the conversation that he needs to have with his wife is not one of, you it's know, what I need you to change. No, I think it's too late. I think that he needs to be honest. I realize this, you know, people, you got to just, you know, do the right thing and say, you know, apologize for cheating. Because to me, um, that's that's being dishon dishonorable in a marriage, right? So apologize for that part. But then say, you know, listen, this is just, I realize this is not for me. I appreciate the 16 years that we've had, but I'm moving on because I have realized. I want something different and you just got to stand on that and go on with your girlfriend at Target and, and let her look up to you and, and give you starry eyes and all that kind of stuff because she does probably look at you different than your wife does. Because you can be a better provider for right. her. But the problem is you'll dumb down with any sister. Like if she gets to be the dominant woman towards him, then he would still find himself in the same position. It's a man's stake in it. It's not her stake. So if, if for instance, if a man uh, has a woman and they get divorced because he was so submissive and she beat him down and he didn't have a stake. And then she runs over there and get another, and he gets another sister. And she becomes that same sister because he's that same man. Right. And right, so right, he right. allows that. What you got, big man? Let's talk about it. Hi. I'm welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank and, you. Um, my name is uh, Antonio Austin. I'd I like to say this. I've been married now almost 26 years of marriage. Wow. And, Congrats. Yeah, we have, me and my wife have two kids and... I call them kids because I want to be 18 next month and want to be 20 in September. But what I believe in is this. What makes my marriage work is we both are, number one, we are God-fearing people. Yes, right. And once you're God-fearing people, you fear God in anything. When you're away from your wife, you're supposed to still think about her. Um, and then God see everything that you do. But the young man, the young man, um, that thought about his wife in the wrong way. He really, he really needs God. Mm -hmm. He's lost out there in the world, and then he's thinking that the young lady that he's with now—they're uh, not going to stay together. No, they not. You know, marriage is honorable in the sight of God, and the bed is undefiled. So we know, as God's word said, that all whoremongers and adulterers, God is going to judge. So we're just hoping that. He find God. That's right. I agree. I love what you said about finding God. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, let's give it up. Yeah. Let me, Thank let, you, Antonio. Antonio, let me say this to you. When I said if you don't have anything else to sow, that's what I mean. When I met my wife, I was on a spiritual path, right? And so my finances wasn't where I wanted them to be. But I was already rich. See, when you have something in you that God gives you, that's wealth. And so when you, when you can display that to a sister... She can't buy it, right? right? And so this is what I mean. When you have something to sow besides material things, then that's the substance that it takes to have a long-term sustaining relationship. I agree. And a lot of sisters haven't even witnessed that. I agree. And so because it, what I've you know, been able to get from you is not, it's, it, you can't put a price on it. You know and so I, mean? I thank God for that. That's, that's what God does. He, he, he gives you things that you can't buy. He teaches you wisdom. He gives you all kind of things that 
money has nothing to do with it. And I never I have had the favor that of the you. Lord on my life. And so a lot of people think I'm super wealthy, but it's just the favor of God that allows me to do things that other people can't do with money. And so that's what I mean. It's like having a black American Express card. When you deal with God and you get favor, they say it ain't fair. That's because they ain't got it. I never said favor wasn't fair with the Lord because I have favor. So it's real fair. It's more fair than ever. So when you can sow these type of things into a system, whoever you dating, I promise you that it's way more substance in that than any materialistic thing that you can purchase and it will last way longer. I so you don't have to have the money, sir. You have to have the wit and the knowledge and the, and the wisdom from God to sow into the woman. And she will see a light in you that has nothing to do with what you have in your pocket, sir. And so that's what I understand about what you just said. Yep. If two people have come together in the Lord, then they win. I it doesn't agree. matter what faces them, they still win. And so I want to thank you just, just again for giving me the things that you have given me. And it has nothing to do with money. And I'm a better woman because of it. So thank you. Well, thank God for that. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, so we got to go to a commercial break because we have an amazing boss lady waiting in the audience for us. We got Tamika Douglas coming here. up. Yes, we yeah, got Tamika Douglas to coming up after this quick commercial break, y'all. We'll be right back. Spotlight over the city. Um, we appreciate you so much for what you're getting ready to show. Um, your talent is amazing, so I'm going to get out the way. So let's give it up one more time for Queen Amara in the building. Thank you, thank you. I want to thank both of you guys for having me. This is amazing. It looks very beautiful in here. Like, I've never been to a place like this. But I see how serious you guys take it, so I respect, you know, one ground from another. But I'm ready. Thank y'all for having me. Are you listening? Are you listening? Bright vision. Hey. Tell them who the baddest is. Tell them Thank you so much. Give it up one more time. Put your hands together for Queen Amara in the building. Give it up. Welcome back to Spotlight over the city, you guys. And guess what? We got us a plus one in the building. Not just a plus one, but this young lady is amazing. She's doing something amazing. And I want to I wanna talk all about it. Nothing, nothing less than a boss. She has a whole crew in here with her, too, y'all. I they love are, it. They are being very supportive. And this is what it's all about. It you sure brand, is. You have to have a team, and you have to lock in, and they have to believe in you. And when I tell you they believe in this sister, and so do we. So... Can, without further ado, you want to give up without some of these Without further ado, right, y'all. I mean, I love when people walk in the building branding themselves, you right? It's know. all about branding. And when you walk in the building branding yourself and then you got your crew branding with you, with some bomb you are a boss. You are a yeah. boss, yeah. Silhouette yeah. Silhouette yeah. Bottle, lady. We got the, the bottle. CEO of Silhouette what? in the Bottle, yes. Tamika Douglas, y'all. Yeah. 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 Black people doing yeah. stuff. 
I love it. Hey. Hey, hey. You look amazing. Thank you. Yeah, Thank congratulations you. to you for yes. what you got going on. So let's get right into it. I yeah. want to talk about the silhouette in a bottle thing. So Yeah, because Stan was like silhouette. I was just like, yes, yeah, like a silhouette. <laughs> like, I think a silhouette, like, you know, get your shape and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So That's tell us what, what, what is silhouette about. in a bottle. Yeah, so let's so talk about silhouette, it. it. Silhouette in a bottle, and we do non-invasive, invasive right okay so at first i started off doing just non-invasive so non-invasive that's talking about cavitation cavitation breaks down the fat the detox body rot wood therapy and now we are to in bigger and better things the post-op care so everybody's into surgeries now so after the surgeries they would come and see my team okay. and we will finish the work of the surgeon. So the ah, surgeon, so post op kit is very, very important. First, especially your first two weeks after surgery. It's very, very important. Okay. It's very, very important after surgery. And what I mean by that, your first two weeks is crucial. Like people don't understand the wound care, like wound care. Most of the time, if you go to Miami, you go to the DR, they want to see you back maybe within a week. If you're from the DNV, they want to see you back within a couple of days. They just looking for to make sure you don't have an infection. So if you have an infection, you can really die. Wow. So, you know, what I did was I said, um, now I've been in law enforcement for over 20 years, but, and oh. then also I'm an advocate for domestic violence. And wow. the thing about the, um, the advocate of domestic violence is so crazy how God had me in the community. I was going in the community. Now the community coming into me. So what I mean by that, I'm still doing ministry inside mm -hmm. my shop because a lot of women are broken. Um, they probably, a lot of times they see things that's still wrong with their body. So what we do encourage, we do, we talk about self love, self care. So they may say, well, I need to, I need to go back. I needed some more surgery. I said, no, you're beautiful. Just like you are. That's the, that's it. enough. That's enough. Mm -hmm. And that's but it, important too. Yeah, it, that's definitely important. So I'm excited about what I'm doing. And then my mother always said, Tamika, you need to go to school for nursing. I was like, I don't want to go to school for nursing. I like being in law enforcement. Uh -huh. So crazy as it sound, I went back to school to be wow. a nurse. Yes. Wow. Yes, absolutely. And in October, I would start my, um, we would be doing IV therapy. So wow, that's Tamika. another plus that's happening with Silhouette wow. in the Bottle. Yes, and then we're going to be starting our tour in August where we're going to be training young ladies around the world. We're going to start in Atlanta where we're wow. going to be teaching young ladies about post-op, post-care. And the reason why is because it's a lot of people getting surgeries done and they don't know where to get their care from. So once they get the surgeries done, they pretty much done on their own. Mm -hmm. You know, they go into these different countries. Some of them not coming back. So people not telling the real story about non-invasive and invasive. How some people, family, they making, they just putting all this money out and they not coming back to their families. Now explain this to me real quick for people like myself who's not educated. What is non -invasive? So non-invasive is not, basically non-invasive is just you know, uh, like cavitation, wood therapy, where we not open up any wounds, we not okay. cutting, we not going inside you. Evasive is when you getting cut or they going inside you with some type of medical um, treatment, some type of medical um, object. Gotcha. So that's basically what that is. And we're talking about surgery like body enhancement surgery. Yeah. Like right. we're talking about uh, if I so want to get rid of my tummy tucks, we doing tummy tucks, butt lifting, um, they may get their arms done, they may get their thighs done, they may get their chin done, they may just get the back of the rolls done. Right, this right, right. here, the back like fat. The back, the back fat. Black and people we, get their chin done? Black people get their chin done. Mm, yes, okay. we are. Mm. Yes, we are. And so what we do at non, uh, Silhouette in a Bottle, we finish the surgery and work. Basically, we finish shaping the body. We let them know the different products they need. We let them know the different fahas. We let them know what they need after surgery. Because a lot of times, once they get the surgeries done, they pretty much done on their own. They wow. done. I think yeah. this is a beautiful thing. I yeah. think it's a, a fulfilling a need. Um, I know a few people who have been overseas to get surgeries. And it's what you say. When you come home back to the States, now what? Now what? You can't keep going back to Mexico or wherever you went. Absolutely. You can't do that. Absolutely. So now what you do for Absolutely. your care? Absolutely. Right. So I became an expert in this thing. Like, I don't play when it comes to my clients. I'm going to make sure they're going to have the best of everything. I'm it. going to stay with them the whole time, the whole ride. Most of my clients, they'll tell you, they would like, she's a drill sergeant. She stay on me. She embraced me. She loved me. She encouraged me. She, she built me back up when they feel like they broken, when they feel like, oh my God, I thought I was going to get off the table with a 
flat stomach. I said, oh, no, no, no. This is a journey. That's right. A journey. This is a process. I love it. And guess it. what? And I'm going to walk with you, me and my team. That's We're going right. to walk with you. Yes. Okay, so how can people be, you know, do it? Like, what do they need to do? Like, Yeah, so how, like, say they had surgery. Right. How do they connect with you? Um, when they, yeah, how do they do that? First so of all? they can go to my website, which is www.silhouette in the bottle, okay. or they can go to Instagram, which we have Silhouette in the Bottle, and then they can go to Facebook, or they can DM me. So we are on social media. Gotcha. And most of the time we go live. Okay. Yes. Okay, yes. good. And yes. so um, no matter what the surgery is, um, once they get to you, you guys prep them from that stage. Yes. And, and before that. Now, say okay. if you, before you think about getting surgery, you can come to me and I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you everything that you need before surgery. I lead you and guide you to the right doctors, maybe in a DMV or area or Miami or in the DR. Gotcha. So it depends on where you try to you go, go. Right. Where you trying to go. Okay. Yeah. That's I love cool. it. I love it. Anything else you want to let your uh, our yeah. audience know before we have to um, go? Yeah. So we got some thing. We got some things that's going on. Um, August, the first week of August, we start our tour for training. That is for non-invasive and post-op care. So if you're interested, please get in contact with me on uh, Silhouette in the Bottle on Instagram or on Facebook. And then also on um, August the 15th, we got a marathon going on. So if you got surgery done, we doing 30 minutes of post-op care massages mm. for 30 minutes, half off. So that's a good thing. So that's only for new clients only. Okay. Then we have our Wind Down Wednesday where we talk about self-love and self-care. So it don't have to be about silhouette in the bottle. It's just talking about self-love, self-care, just about building your self-esteem. It's just talking about loving yourself. It may not even be, it may be just a black owned company that we just target for you know self love self care so we have a number of things and we guess what we gonna be at the wine fest too I know that's, that's what's right up. you guys got a booth yes we got yes. a booth oh wait yeah, shout that out yeah. y'all come so make sure y'all look for silhouette in the bottle yeah. at the uh, wine fest and you guys are out there too that's yes, great and we be doing we will be doing consultations so if you're thinking about getting surgery or you're thinking about getting non invasive we will be having a booth that you can privately talk to us because we will be having like some dividers up so you don't be out in the public because it will be thousands and thousands of people yes it will, will be and we never miss the wine fest so we so will wonderful, be there again wonderful wonderful i can't and wait so, to see you out gang, there gang once again so that's yep. one of the reasons that's just one good reason for you to get you some tickets and come on Absolutely. out there because you can also slide over to that booth and get you a consultation or yes. two and find out what you need to do next. That's, That's right. a great thing. That's this is what right. I mean by branding. You see everywhere we are, they are. That's you see right. That? Yeah. I love it. And so it's a beautiful thing. You want to shout <laughs> out anybody in particular yeah. before you drop I'm off I want to shout out my amazing team. They are looking good with them t-shirts. Yes, they yes. are. Yes, all of them got their yeah. silhouette in the bottom yes, they are. on, and yeah. they out yes, there representing, they are. I and I love mom, it. Mom, I want to shout out my mother. My mother wanted to be here today. Oh, I didn't know y'all hey, had Shout mom. out moms. Hey, moms. Yeah, you got plenty of room. We bring the whole game. And hey, I want to shout out to all the entrepreneurs that starting a business or you in the middle of a business. Keep going because I'm gonna try. I'm trying to tell you when uh, when I first started, it was really really hard for me, and I just kept on hearing God say, "Continue, continue, keep going, keep going." I cried sometimes going to my shop because I didn't have a lot of clients at the time. I didn't know how I was going to pay for this, and I didn't know how I was going to pay for that. But I continued to have faith, and I continued to trust in God. So if you are an entrepreneur, continue to keep going. God will God will make a way when you be faithful and you will have when you have trust. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you, He will make a way. He'll open up Won't doors. He, do it? he will open up doors that you ain't never seen. Won't before. he do it? You're talking about language. You're talking about language. You're talking about favor. Language. It's something that's coming up for me huge big, and um, I can't really say because I'm about to sign the dotted line. Yeah. So I will be doing signing the dotted lines in probably on uh, uh, Saturday. But I promise you, it will be making me a billionaire. I, I know that. that's right. So th <laughs> this is what I love. When you get into this business of being a, a owner, a lot of people don't realize how tough it is. Yes. But when you believe in God, I promise you, that's what you're going to need. If you're planning to jump out there by yourself, because it gets lonely, it yes. gets tough, you want to quit, you don't see the end, sometimes you wonder why you got involved, um, all of those things come to mind, and then you win. Yes. So you have to get past all of those things, yes. and it's going to take God to, yes. to help you get past those things. So I really appreciate when we have guests that talk like you talk, because um, I'm a really believer. Yes. 
That's and right. So I That's really right. appreciate you so problem. much. That's I appreciate right. that. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Man. One more time, y'all. Yes. Speaker Douglas. Silhouette, Silhouette in the bottle, y'all. Sure make sure you following her. Make sure you come out the trigger. And even if you don't say go spend no money or you don't do anything over there, go over there and say hello. And um, shake her hand and say congratulations. That's right. It's a big yeah. deal to be an entrepreneur. Trust Absolutely. me when I tell you that. Yes, it is. Thank Man, you so much. Man, we got to get out of here, but we appreciate yeah. you so much for being a part of Spotlight over the city, and um, we'll have you back again. Trust me. Thank you. Thank you much, so much. much. We will be right back with our next guest, y'all. What? <laughs> next. What's going on? Everybody okay? They got a call, said there was trouble in the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you all need to look around. It's a little wet for practice, don't you think? Don't the girls have schoolwork to do? They do their homework. Tundi's first in her class. Lynn and Isha are too. Now I don't even mind you saying we hard on these kids. You know why? Because we are. That's our job, to keep them off these streets. You want to check on the kids? Let's check on the kids. We got future doctors, lawyers, plus a couple tennis stars in this house. The chances of achieving the kind of success that you're talking about, it's just very, very unlikely. Okay, you're making a mistake, but I'm gonna let you make it. Watch me hit a few balls. All right. So tell me your names again. I'm Venus. I'm Serena. So what'd you think? I wrote me a 78-page plan for their whole career before they was even born. Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> These girls so great, how come I've never heard them? They're from Compton. It's okay. They're just not used to seeing good-looking peoples like us. She's nervous. Take a step up. Maybe she ought to take a few more steps up. Just get someplace safe. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh, no, brother man. I got me the next, too. What's the next step? You got to take. You're not gonna just be representing you. You're gonna be representing every little black girl on earth. They're not gonna let you doubt. How could you? This world ain't never had no respect for Richard Williams, but they're gonna respect y'all. Oh, you gonna walk out there with your head up. You are a champion, and the whole world knows. The most dangerous creature on this whole earth. It's a woman who know how to think. Yes, Daddy. Ain't nothing she can't do. You gonna show them how dangerous you are? Yeah. Venus and Serena gonna shake up this world. Venus Williams, who is your best friend? Hey, Daddy. Serena Williams, who is your best friend? Venus. Then you. That's Thank you. After Venus.
Welcome back to Spotlight Over the City, you guys. And we got us another plus one in the building. Yes, we do. Hold on, hold on. Y'all Wait, listen. Let's, let's, we got a lot of accolades, so <laughs> brace yourself. Yes, lady, you know, I am really super excited about this amazing young lady um, for a number of reasons. And I'm going to let her talk all about a lot of the things. But um, she's just one, to me, one of the uh, more courageous people out there. And um, just being a trailblazer yep, yep. and loving what you do. Y'all put your hands together and welcome to Mara. But we go, we call her Mara. McLaughlin is in the in building. The building. Woo! Hey, girl. Hey. hey. Hello, hello. Yeah. Hey, I feel bull. like we're family already. We've been eating chili in here. We've been yeah, chilling. We've been chilling, right? We've yeah. been literally chilling, right? How you doing? Hey, welcome to oh, board. well. You good? Yes. How you guys doing? We, we are doing well. Wonderful. Welcome to Spotlight wonderful. Over the City. Thank you for being a part of the show. Thank so, you for having me. First of all, I thought you was in Atlanta for some reason, so that's why I was shocked. To I see think you. people affiliate you with the um, you know, the show Little Women of Atlanta and assume you're from Atlanta. You want to talk yeah, about that? that? A so let's bit talk clear about that up. The show. Yeah, let's talk you, about. You're from, it. from here, right? Yeah, I'm from deep, Southeast DC. Wait a minute. South Southeast. Southside. South let's put up one time for my favorite side. <laughs> Southside. One time for Big Jeff and the whole gang out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't know that. Are we the only people who thought you were from Atlanta? Do you get that a lot? I get that a lot. Yeah, you? I thought that. Okay. Even before the show, people already thought I was from Atlanta. Really? So, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I definitely thought it. Okay. So um, were you just like a, you know, a, a, a regular cast member on that show? Or tell us a little bit about that. Were you, oh, well, I'm just a guest. I'm just, just a, a guest on the show. Yes, a special a guest. guest. Mm-hmm. Like, because you, you, you're special. You was mm-hmm. like a special friend to us, too. I felt like we were family when I walked in the building. So I want to know about this bathing suit shot that I saw. <laughs> he want to get right to I, that. Because he I just, saw you in your two-piece. I was two like, piece. I was like <laughs> he was like, where did you get from? that body where from? body coming from? So like. <laughs> Was that a photo shoot or something? Like, what, what were you doing? A photo shoot? In the black? It was a yellow. Was it, yellow? it was yellow. yellow. Yeah, yeah, it was yellow and black. I it, think. Was it was a two piece, yeah, but you know, it, it was. I, you were showing off, basically. You were showing off. Yeah. What, what you guys talking about? It, yeah. I mean, we got to show. We we have have to, yeah, I think we do. It might have been one of the pictures that were on the flyer. Oh, and I was look. It was like on the beach. Yeah. Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, that's a uh, Fenty. That was long. That was one of your. That was Savage the X Fenty. Yes. Right. That was so we can just jump right to that. I have a few questions for you, but I can go right to the one question that everybody has had. We had people submit questions in our inbox to ask you. And one of them is, how has it been since your launch and recognition as becoming the first little person to be a brand ambassador for Savage Times Fenty? How did it come about? That's a, first of all, let's give it up for that. That's Yay! Don't know. just glaze past that like that's light. That's not light. That's heavy. So, okay. How yeah, did let's that come talk about, about that. Um, well, it came about with my manager and I, we wanted to uh, pitch something to Savage X Fenty. So we like, okay, they don't have no little people. I want to mm-hmm. be the first. So my manager, you know, she's doing her thing. She's like, you know what? We, we, we want to have a photo shoot. And I ordered my stuff. The same week I ordered my stuff, an agent from Savage X Fenty reached out to us. And that's how it came oh, yeah. So wait, they reached out in the midst of you planning to reach out? Mm-hmm. So you manifested it anyway. That's and... how you manifest it. Yeah. So you, you was already prepared to reach for them. Mm-hmm. And they was looking. Okay. Already. I love it. From I... a video that I posted. Really? Yeah. And I love that. Okay, and so since that happened, where, where like, how did where do things go after that? Like, you do you model for Fancy Savage Times Fancy now? Oh uh, well, I'm just a branded bastard. Okay, just, and so you wear their sexy lingerie. Mm-hmm. And just wow. Wow. Just, I'm trying to. So Puma called me. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to do that for Puma. You trying to do? It? Uh, yeah, you gotta spend all this damn money. You got yeah, yeah. Our yeah. whole damn house is Puma. Everything, the whole closet. Yeah, so Puma, I'm gonna need a check. So that's, that's, I like that, though, because it's not just a brand ambassador. That's kind of a little more fun. Yeah, like it is. A brand ambassador, that means you are a staple for the brand. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they have oh, the right person. I just, want, I just want you to know that you represent very, very well. Uh, I, when I looked at your pictures, I mean, and I'm a girl, and I'm like, I was just like, wow, you represent all that very well. Yes. All that melanin all in there. I was like, what's going on You represent on very well. well I well, want to talk you. a little bit about, because we also have questions. Yeah. People want to know, what, what does social media influencer mean? Like, you know, how did that come about? Okay, well, social media influencer is someone who used their platform, I believe, in a positive way. So you have people that look up to you, so you're a leader. Mm-hmm. A lot of things that you post or a lot of things that you do on social media, they're going to look at you and be like, okay, I want to do that or I want to like just be like you or something like that. So how, did, well, how I became a social media influencer, I started by um, 
posting my dance videos from there, my comical videos, just entertaining people. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of um, people reach out, oh, you're so confident, you're so this. Yeah. And I know, I, I want, I like. I, like, I let it, you can be yourself. You know what, I do it, you can do it, anybody can do it. So I became a social media influencer just being myself and then showing people you can be whoever you want to be. Do you know I love that? So where do you get this confidence? Because you have a lot of confidence. You do. Um, it has taken you some places that a lot of people without it don't go. That's how you got into your situation because mm -hmm. you were going it. Right? So what gives you this confidence to do things that even, like, it's, I don't, I don't stump, jump out there. <laughs> you have to pull me a little bit. I don't just jump out there. But you really have jumped out there and made a name for yourself. Trailblazer. And so where do you get this confidence from? Honestly, start first start with God. Yeah. Second start with my family. Yeah. He blessed me with the family I had. Yeah, so, very supportive. Yes, yeah. very supportive. I'm the only little person in my family. I was going to so. ask you about that because one of the questions, that, another question we have is, what is it like being a little person in the public eye? What is it like? Give us some insight on your life. Yeah, it's some interesting. Of the obstacles. It's very yeah. interesting. Like, um, you have some days people are, oh my gosh, people say negative stuff. Then you have other days, mm. then you have other days, oh my goodness, we love your confidence. You're so beautiful, this and the third. So it's very interesting because you don't know what you're going to get. Mm. Like, I don't know what I'm going to get tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to get later on tonight. It's just, it's just interesting. You have people reach out to you because, oh, you're doing so and so. They want some advice, or you just want people to, they just want your attention because they just want to say negative stuff. But, so, how do you deal with the negative stuff? Do you ignore? Um, entertain it. I want to entertain it. <laughs> um, my manager be like, no. It's like, cause I, I just laugh at it, cause I'm like, wow, y'all had this much time in y'all hands. That's right. the thing that it's, gets me. People that don't even know you, mm -hmm. and they'll, and it's like the person that said they uh, want the person off social media. Yeah. Just don't follow them. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. People put a lot of energy into something that they don't even have to be worried about. So mm -hmm. you've overcome a lot of those things, as I can see, and you push through. That's what I love about your confidence. That's why I say, where do you get this? Because you push through the negative, and you become what you want to become. She said it. She said God. So, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And so yeah. I love that about you. I love the fact that you get on there with confidence and entertain. Um, the negative comment's going to come, but so does the positive mm -hmm. comment. So what was one of the toughest things that you had to face coming into the industry? Hmm. Huh. Tough question, right? That is a tough question. Yeah, I know you had obstacles, trust me. So what is one of the things that made you scratch your head late night? Like, oh, my goodness. Not feeling like I was on the same level as other people because I'm a little person. Because you're a little person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you got past that. Yes. Did you Thank ever God. experience bullying because you're mm -hmm. a little person? Really? Cyberbullying. Really? Not physical. But not in person. Not in person, but cyberbullying. Okay. Yeah, I experienced that growing up, too. Mm -hmm. They tried to play with me because I was short. You just learn how to whoop ass early. <laughs> <laughs> Mara, have I mean, you ever had to whoop ass? I'm just saying, I had to whoop ass. You've never ass. had to whoop ass, right? I, I, no. Once I put my hands on a couple of jokers, they stopped messing with me and trying to take my lunch money. And so I, I think it came from being short. Like, I'm short for a guy. I'm five foot six, right? Mm -hmm. or eight or 12, something like what? that. What? Okay. Eight or 12? Five, 11. Babe. What the hell? Babe. So I'm short. So they used to try to play with me funny, and I wasn't going for that. And so once you get that first little experience, then it'd be cool. But my whole point is, it's an obstacle. I remember going from school to school, and you had to fight every single time you went to this new school. They don't know you. You're still short. You know, they still looking at me like, oh, he little. I'm going to try him. And then, yeah, so you had to come over those obstacles. What? So I figured in the entertainment industry, there's a whole nother level of obstacles mm -hmm. because you got people that can possibly sign a check yeah. to you and whatnot and stuff like that. So... I love your perseverance. I love that you're from Southeast, for sure. I, I love do. that for I sure. Love. I didn't know that. And um, I love how you represent. And I, I know that you're going to do some big things, what's bigger next for things. You? For sure. Honestly. What do you have? Like, what? what yeah, what's the plans what's in the future? What you? you got? What's your plan? I want to work with Tyler Perry. You do? I want to take on acting. So, just like yeah. you manifested uh, being the brand ambassador, we're going to manifest that. All I'm saying is once Tyler calls you, because he probably called tomorrow, mm -hmm. how you be rolling. As <laughs> soon as you say something, then they call. Mm -hmm. Tell him that we a team. Like we, right. Say, I got you. you got to tell yeah, him. We together. Yeah, say yeah. we together. Yeah. Come as a team. Spotlight <laughs> over the city. <laughs> so anyway, congratulations to you. I, yes. I, I really love um, the things that you say, the obstacles. I see that you're very grounded, um, you. spiritually based, which is important. And um, you will definitely be a big success, way bigger Absolutely. than what you are today. And Absolutely. hopefully you'll come back and, and um, tell us about your journey. She, she Don't forget about it. We're going to be right. blowing you up all in your inbox I gotta and stuff tell, like I gotta that. Tell Tyler Perry, right. so, I got to tell Tyler Perry. Right. Yeah, yeah. Package deal. Mm -hmm.
And yeah. so I really appreciate you coming on this platform. And Thank I'm you for having with me. Your energy. Let them know where they can follow can you. They follow you yeah. Anything you got coming up, let them know how they can be involved. Well, you can follow me at A That's Mara on social media. So that's A Y E T H A T S M E R A. On all my social media platforms, they're all the same. You can follow me, contact me, get in touch with me on there. A okay, so they just want to know was you single? Or was you dating? Right, like, do you, like, like, can somebody, we get in your business and you be, yeah, da be, be dating and stuff? Bit. I be dating, but. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, you know, I, be like, <laughs> I left you um, stuck on that. Yeah, because it's like, it's. <laughs> it's. He just. Complex. Okay, we'll no, talk about that on the next. When we get yeah, you back up here, it's we'll like, talk about it's, that. It's, it's a reason. Yeah. yeah. But we'll talk about yeah. it, but I have to ask you this before we go, and I'm going to let you go. You, you got one hour. You just going to get a million dollar check, so it's a happy mode. Tyler and Perry done you, called. Tyler Perry called. You headed down there to Atlanta to get with Tyler. So you got about six hour, ten hour ride, whatever. You only can listen to one artist. What is that artist? You cannot switch once you put that artist in there. You can play all out. of their music, but it can't be a different artist. Who is it? You're in a good mood. Mm. I be getting people with this one. Uh-huh. Who's it going to be, Mary? It could be anybody you love. It could be country, western. It could be hip-hop, trap. Don't, don't do it. Okay, I'm on, I'm on my way to Tyler Perry, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm about to listen to gospel so I can get a good mood. Uh, uh -huh. Victory by Tyler. Um, Tyler Perry. Victory by Ty Trivet. Ty Trivet. Yeah. yeah. yeah I like it. All right, one time for Ty Trivet. Mm -hmm. On that right, note, we, we got to get ready to wrap it up for sure, for sure, because yep, we're running behind up. a little bit. Okay. But um, I appreciate having you, and um, y'all give it up one more time. Y'all give it up for Mara. Yeah, yeah. The south side. Thank yeah. you much. Thank you much. Thank you much. All right, coming up next, we have got the amazingly talented Robin Monet. Yes, yeah, man. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Spotlight over the city. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right now, I really want peace. So if I gotta argue once, it's gonna burn it out. I'll just be willing to fuck all the time. I shoot you with text, put in my side. Yeah, you got some kind of hex, cause you've been on my mind. Yeah, yeah. Flashbacks to the last time I was in your thighs. You look at me dead in my eyes. Love it when you call me daddy. God, it's a baddie. I need that little pussy belly. Talk to me, girl, make it nasty. What you got planned for the weekend? Girl, you so fine for no reason. Love when I jump off the deep end. I make you come, then I'm leaving. Oh, my God. Oh, babe. I love the taste. Oh, I'll take a plate. Oh, put it on my face. Yeah, yeah. I -S -E -T -T. Aretha doing? Aretha's doing all right. Just all right. Singing is sacred, Marie. And you shouldn't do it just because somebody wants you to. What's most important is that you are treated with dignity and respect. You're special, Marie. You have a talent they call genius. You Think about what you're trying to do to me. How old is she? She's 10, but her voice is going on 30, honey. How many albums have you had? Four. And no hits. I need you to focus and avoid frivolous distractions. Honey, find the songs that move you. Until you do that, you ain't going nowhere. I need a change. I want to sing what I want to sing. Okay. Find out what it means to me. You really like it? We love it. Re, 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 You're not about to mess this up for me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Read the Frank.
This song goes out to anyone who's ever felt mistreated. I used to feel so You need to take a break. I know how to run my business. Have you lost your mind? Maybe I found it. I believe I have the chills. Do you see what she is? She's a miracle. Damn, this your main cam. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Spotlight over the city, man. And guess what? We got us another plus one in the building. Yes, and this young lady here is going to close us out with this big old voice of hers. But um, y'all didn't before hear. we get to the singing mm -hmm. part, we're going to let her tell us a little bit about her career and her future and what she got going on. So. Yes, indeed. I'm Wife, really you excited introduce? about it. The women have held this show down tonight, y'all, yeah, haven't they? Yes, well, we I'm had Black man. Girl Matt. I'm just saying, we held, you had, it was like Stan's Angels. Yeah, you I'm, had you was you had all the ladies tonight. Yeah, the men looking weak. I gotta get some men on the panel. <laughs> Y'all gotta do well, something listen, out here. Come I'm on, excited man. about this young lady. We have actually we've had you scheduled for quite some time. So I'm mm -hmm. so happy this day finally came around. We you all get to hear her amazing voice. And one please time for a good part, the, guitar player too. Yes, yes, y'all. I can't wait. Um, please welcome to the show the lovely, amazing Robin Monet. Yeah, was on our thing saying, sing, sing, nay, nay. <laughs> <laughs> they might how are you? you? I'm doing pretty well. How are you all? I'm great, doing great. Great, great having you. Spotlight over the city. Thank you for having me. Yes. What's going on? Yeah. Nothing Let them know much. who you are. Let these people know who you are. Yeah. Tell us about who is Robin Monet and what's going on, what you got coming know. up before we close out. Um, nothing much. Uh, I wanted to perform my song Motion. Um, Which it's I love. It's an acoustic version of the song, so I hope everyone enjoys it. We will, of course. Yeah. Yes. And so, um, how did this song come about? Because I heard it in the sound check and I like it. So, how did this come about? Um, it's a long journey. Uh, I write a lot, but it doesn't ever get anywhere because I'm very critical. Um, I think like any artist or creative uh -huh. is. Um, the song, it took me... I wrote it about, I would say, two years ago, starting off, wow. like two, wow. two and a half years ago. Um, wrote the hook, and I liked the hook, and I scrapped the verses because when you're in a different space um, writing a song, um, and then you kind of grow, and you don't do anything with the song and try to revisit it, sometimes you have to change a lot because mm -hmm. you're in a different mindset, but different experiences that led up to it. Um, so I just evolved the song into something that was more like in a relationship um, type, but now it's more into um, kind of a, I would say like a friends with benefits in a sense, or mm -hmm. just someone you respect um, that's a good friend that you can like still it. have intimacy with. Yeah. I'm going to be on the same page with. Okay. I like it. I like, I like it a lot. It. And so who's been one of your uh, biggest musical influences? Uh, well, my sister initially, um, she went to Duke Ellington, um, Philadelphia, the arts and oh, University cool. of Maryland. Wow. So she was a artist when I was growing up, a vocal okay. performer. So I was always was I just grew up around music. Like she's my initial like foundation and uh -huh. inspiration behind being an artist and a musician. Okay. Um, but other artists, I guess I would say like celebrities or singers that I look up to would be uh, Janae Aiko. Um, mm. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, I like her. Her is really good too. I love her. Oh yeah. yes. Yeah, it's I a lot of voice that melody. So I, I kind of yeah. like that. Your, your <laughs> voice in that is in yeah. that lane. Yeah. I, I listen to them all the time. Yeah, so. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah, your voice in that lane. Do you have anything coming up that you want to tell the audience about so we can, you know, make sure yeah, that everybody wanna... supports? Yeah, um, nothing um, like very soon. Okay. Um, but definitely this year, um, I'm trying to put it together a project. So hopefully yeah. a project can come out either the end of this year or early next year and just compile all of the songs that I've been working on and collaborating with people. So with. what about the single? Is that something that people can um, get now if they yes. want? Okay. Yes, yeah. on yeah. Um, all that. streaming platforms. Okay. Apple What's the name of it again? What's your name? Motion. Motion. All streaming platforms. All streaming platforms. Make you. sure you support. Um, I want to say this real quick before I, I know they be fussing at me about me too much time. Real quick, a lot of times as artists, um, you get caught up in the moment and you switch off and you switch on and you have moods and you. But 
your music still speaks to people who are in that genre or in that situation at that time. Sometimes they still in it. Yeah. Right? So sometimes you shouldn't scrap. Maybe you should just put it out there yeah. and just let it rock because a lot of times where you are is not where the other people are mm-hmm. and it still touch them. It right. still speak to them. So I really like your the voice, single that you drop. Your um, vo- you have a soundtrack. voice that um, I, I, I consider one of your voices is like one that will touch people regardless of really what you're singing. You know oh, what I mean? That's, that's you have like a touching, problem. soothing type of voice, a melody in your voice that I really love a lot. And that's what I noticed when long time ago when we reached out. So Thank you I just so wanted much. to say that to everybody. I'm trying to hear yeah. it. Looking forward to I'm it. trying to hear it. Yeah. I want to hear it. We're so looking forward to it. Let them know where they can follow you before you get up there and yeah. um, bless them with that big voice. Yes, you right can here. follow camera me. Five. Oh, camera five. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can follow me anywhere um, at Robin Monet Music, R O B Y N M O N E T M U S I C. Thank you much. I love and so it. without I love further it. ado, we're gonna go to a commercial break and then we'll be right back with more of Miss Monet. I can't wait to Robin hear this Monet voice. Yo. This voice right here. So I got a teaser already, so you guys stay tuned. We'll be right back. Spotlight on the city. I put the spotlight on your city. I put the spotlight on your city. See the superstar. Spotlight over the city, and I told you guys we were gonna close out with a banger, so uh, I'm gonna I'm hurry up and get out of the way. But I just want to make sure you guys see this young lady and make sure you stay locked in because she got some big things coming, and this big old voice will show you why. So, without further ado, let's give it up for Robin Monet in the building. Put your hands together. <laughs> some time and can't even imagine what we have whatever lies just want to keep it going doing what we're doing gotta make it complicated you show me every time you come around that i can depend on you and you can you keep it going please keep this going keep me going Keep me going Baby, don't stop Keep me in motion You 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 keep me in motion No, keep me in motion You keep me in motion 
Yeah. Not about to be ashamed of what I want from you, what I want to do. Recharge me up, restore my mood, keep it real. I know you can't stop thinking about it too. That's serious, but feels foreverish. So we gotta hold on tight before it. Can you keep it going? Please keep this going. Keep me going, going. Baby, don't stop. Keep me in motion. You 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 keep me in motion, baby, baby, now. You keep me in motion now. You keep me Don't stop, don't stop, baby. Baby, don't stop, don't stop, stop. Baby, don't stop, don't stop now. Motion, motion. Thank you. Y'all give it up, y'all give it up. Put them hands together one more time for Robin Monet in the building. R&B singer. And also, what's your name, bro? Demetrius. Demetrius on a good time, man. That guy did a great job. Give it up for him. I love you guys' energy. You guys look forward to seeing her on many more platforms. I promise you she'll be there. And in the meantime, Spotlight over the city will be watching. You guys had a good time? Yeah. Man, we had a great show. We thank you guys for being a part. We got to get ready to get out of here, man. Watch who you hang around, though. Watch your energy. One thing you have to do is always monitor who you are around. They say if you hang around nine broke friends, guess what? You are bound to be the temp. But... <laughs> <laughs> if you hang around nine rich friends, you also bound to be the 10. So it's all about who you surround yourself with and make sure you do that. We got to get ready. Get out of here. On that note, love hard, live good, God first. Spotlight over the city, baby.